My name is Grimes. My name is Frank Grimes. Frank Grimes. Frank Grimes. Frank Grimes. Order in the court. Not only is hip hop not no. dead, she's alive and pregnant. And in order to abort the stillborn fetus, your beat has got to not induce boredom. But you can't use samples if you can't afford them. See, the underground is different. We don't have marketing tools. We're all broke and make our CDs how we want. There's no rules. Word of mouth got me gigs in neighboring cities. I can't complain because I can't afford a promotion campaign. And I know indie rappers that put in around a G on a college radio push. But then looked around to see if they got new fans. They don't. They lost money. Now all they see is a big empty hole where their bank account used to be. This is supposed to be fun. Oh yeah? Well you can try telling that to Lord Tariq and Peter Guns. They had to pay a hundred grand for sampling Stilly Dan. Cause most of the people that we sample don't like us. Oh man. They ran up the price like teams run up the score. Now computer beats is all you hear when you're in a store. Even superstars can get it. I'm not kidding. It took almost a decade, but Jay-Z eventually got sued for big pimping. What about the rest of us that like to sample drums? They say, chains gon' come. Well, if it does, I'll say welcome. welcome. And when I get arrested by the copyright police, I'll tell them why I did it when I smile for my mugshot. It was the cheese. Now you don't need forensics or the usual suspects to cross-examine and question. All you need is an objective mind. To trace the evidence our profit was the motive behind the murder weapon now you don't need forensics or the usual suspects to cross-examine and question all you need is an objective mind to trace the evidence our profit was the motive behind the murder weapon now let me tell you people of a result which occurs through a truly sad story that needs to be heard where many in underground groups renowned took leaps and bounds locally they ventured overseas and still didn't drown but yet in their own land a deal they couldn't refuse Water them down, sign the dotted line, and pledge the forge the signature sound of the times. Now, of course, their name would remain, but what it stood for before they got their foot in the door would change. I used to praise some among my favorite ones once before they traded the secret ingredient for the flavor of the month. And it hurts to see them think they've come so far when over commercial beats are not even up to par with where the one hit wonders are, cause that's not the territory, not their arena. See, they sound awkward and kind of like imposters, at least to me. And I really don't mean to sound so harsh But they're not fit to be gimmicky like their industry counterparts It's understandable to want a larger audience But at the cost today I find it hard to comprehend Why they'd abandon the sound that got them where they were in the first place To cast their pearls before swine A one time thing's all it takes And they need all that money at the end of the day So that some sheep could graze and leave those permanent patches in their grassroots fan base I don't know Now you don't need forensics or the usual suspects To cross examine and question All you need is an objective mind and trace the evidence our brother was the motive behind the murder weapon now you don't need forensics or the usual suspects to cross-examine and question all you need is an objective mind to trace the evidence our brother was the motive behind the murder weapon how do you kill an art form you put the profit in the pocket of those whose goal is mediocrity and nonsense and make it cost prohibitive to make anything of excellence anything less than pure profit is not success for most music executives there's no difference between a sample drum track snare and a hand clap mini they'd rather spend the 50 dollars on a casio keyboard then support producers who use samples to record and what's more the port system has decided for us what's essential to hip-hop and what can be ignored since a loop can be reproduced in the studio they conclude that there's nothing crucial in sampling tunes but they miss the aesthetic importance of reaching back 50 years to find that perfect sound to fit in the track transforming bits of forgotten music into something new should clearly be categorized as fair use now you don't need forensics or the usual suspects to cross-examine and question all you need is an objective mind to trace the evidence our brother was the motive behind the murder weapon now you don't need forensics or the usual suspects to cross-examine and question all you need is an objective mind to trace the evidence